Today on our 2013 Ford C-Max, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Curt powered tail light converter with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C59236. This is what our four pole wiring looks like when it's installed. This is going to provide you with all the proper lighting functions for a trailer you're going to need. Your running lights, your brake signal, both your right and your left turn signals, and your ground. It's also going to come with an attached dust cap. This is going to help keep grime or any corrosion from getting on your metal connections. What this also can double for, so it doesn't hang low when you're not using it. And you can hook it right on to your hitch safety loop. Now this wiring kit's going to have a converter box and it's also going to be fused. The converter box, what that does is it's going to protect your vehicle from any back feed from your trailer if your trailer has any lighting issues. The power wire is also going to be fused. So if there's an issue with that power, that fuse is going to blow before it causes any damage. As far as the installation, this is fairly straightforward. Keep in mind that you're going to have to test the wiring to determine what system you have. In our case, we have a three wire system. Each function is going to be on a separate wire. Now you are going to have to splice into those. Your kit comes with some quick splice connectors. However, I don't recommend using these. These are not very reliable. I recommend picking up some buck connectors which you can find on our website and order them when you get your kit. One thing that's great about this installation is everything is contained in the back hatch, including the battery. Now let's show you how to get that done. First thing we need to do is we need to remove our tail lights. With our hatch open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape, and I'll explain why here in a second, and run it right along this edge of the body. We're going to put about four or five strips on there. And you don't have to use uh, electrical tape, you can use painter's tape if you want. Just something to protect the, uh, the finish on the vehicle. Now we'll take our tail light out. Inside, there's a panel. Back inside, you're going to see two long plastic wing nuts. Those two are holding the tail light in place. We need to remove those. Next, we're going to take a plastic trim panel tool. We're going to slide it in between the light in the body of the car. We're just going to kind of push the light back. Now the reason for the tape, so that we can rest our light like that without damaging the paint. You want to do the same thing on the passenger side. Next we'll test our wires and determine what system we have. We'll start with our blinker. Turn it off. Turn it on. Now we know our gray with our orange stripe is going to be our blinker. Next we'll test our brake lights. Turn them on. Our large purple wire is going to be our brake lights. Now we'll test for our running lights. Turn them on. That's telling us that we have a three wire system. Now we're going to test the passenger side. The difference is going to be we're only going to be testing for the blinker. For our passenger side, it's going to be this green wire with the orange stripe. Now we'll remove our tail lights. You're going to push on this little tab and pull out. Now we'll take the trim panel tool. We're going to push our wire inside the vehicle. Like this. And right here, there's a little plastic clip holding it in place. Take the trim panel tool and we're going to pop that off. use a screwdriver if you don't have a trim panel tool. Let's just give this a little extra length to work with. And we're going to do that on the other side of the vehicle also. Next we'll mount our converter box. We're looking for a flat space and if you look right straight back here inside in between the fender and this inner wall it's nice and flat. We'll have plenty of room to put it on. We're going to take some rubbing alcohol. You want to make sure your surfaces are clean. Take our two-sided tape comes in our kit. Make sure you press it into place. Get it in there. Make sure you press it onto the panel nice and firm so you have a good hold on it. Next we're going to take out this compartment here. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver. We're going to take out these three bolts first. Next, you're going to pull this panel. You're going to use a 7 16 socket to remove that nut. 
Now we're just going to slowly pull up until we pop it loose. Go ahead and pull that out and set it aside to be reinstalled later. Now we're going to remove this piece of foam. Just kind of pull it aside like this. We will be putting that back in. We're going to take our black power wire that comes in our kit. We want to go up. And we're going to go ahead and connect the black wire off our converter box to our power wire. So we're going to strip it. Take one of the included butt connectors. And we'll connect the other end of the butt connector to the black wire on our converter box. Go ahead and pull our excess down. Our red, yellow, and brown wire from our converter box we're going to leave here because it's going to be connected to the wiring that's going to our driver's side taillight. Our green wire that's going to our passenger side, I'm going to feed it down. Like this. And then we can route that right across the back up to the passenger side. For our four pole connection, you look right down here, there's a grommet that goes right out to the bottom of the car. So we'll take our four pole, wrap it down, and we'll be able to pop that grommet out, drop this right down through there. One thing I do want to mention is if you notice the seatbelt runs right here. And you can see how our wires are pretty close to it, even the ones that we ran down. If you take your wire that came off your tail light, put all your wires in front of it or run that behind it, when you go to clip this back into place, it'll actually hold your wires up away from the seatbelt. Next, we'll mount a ground wire. You just need to make sure that it's mounted to a metal surface. If you look right here on that edge, it's like a good spot to go. We'll use a quarter inch socket and our self-tapping screw that comes in our kit. You want to make sure if you have any tape or anything like that on it, you just trim it back far enough where you have plenty of room to make the connections between the wires. First, we're going to do our brake signal, which is going to be our large purple wire. Go ahead and cut that. We're going to strip both ends. I'm going to put our butt connector on one end. And we're going to take our red wire from our converter box back a little extra off of that. We'll tie these two together. I'm going to go on the other end of our buck connector. Take a little piece of electrical tape. Help protect just a little bit. Next we'll do our turn signal, which is going to be our gray with our orange stripe. And we're going to do the same process with this one. And then we're going to repeat that same process with our brown wire coming off our converter box, going to our smaller purple wire with the green stripe for our running lights. I'll take some electrical tape and clean it up a little bit. Run some tape around it. Run this back out. Just wanna make sure when you put this back in, you pull your wires up above it. Let's clip right back into the same hole. Now we'll take our grommet that we popped out. We're gonna slice it right to the center. You can use just a regular blade. I'm using some side cutters here. And we're gonna take our four pole wiring that's running down through it. We're gonna slide it in, stick our grommet back in place, put some silicone on there to seal it up. I'm gonna take my black wire and my green wire. I'm gonna start zip tying it right along my existing wiring. Now you might find your green wire is a little bit short because this wire is gonna to have to come up behind your panel like we did on our driver's side. And then where we're gonna connect it, it's actually gonna be on the outside right behind the tail light. You can see that's not long enough. So it might be a good idea to pick up some extra 16 gauge wire. If you don't have any, you can find some on our website. And it's gonna be easier to drop your extension down rather than try to feed it up. And I'll go ahead and tape that off just to help hold the wires together and protect it a little bit better. Next, we'll take our fuse holder that comes in our kit. We're gonna cut the wire in half. We'll strip back both sides. 
you're going to add the ring terminal comes in your kit on one side and our other side is going to be connected to our black power wire so we'll go ahead and cut that down just a little extra here and we'll add a butt connector and we'll add our fuse holder and we're just going to leave this hang for now we're not going to make that connection to the battery just yet you're going to repeat the same process on the passenger side with the green wire and orange stripe and the green wire that you pulled up behind the panel. Now we're going to connect our ring terminal from our fuse holder to our positive side of our battery. One thing I want you to note is to make sure that the fuse is not inserted in the fuse holder until after the connection is made. So we'll take a half inch socket, remove the nut, place it on your ring terminal, reinstall your nut, and tighten it down. <laughs> Once you have your connection made, you can insert your 15 amp fuse that comes in your kit. Just tuck that out of the way. We'll put our panel back in, it'll be nice and tucked in. Now we'll cut off our excess to kind of clean up our install from our zip ties. Reinstall our foam pad. Then we can start reinstalling all of our panels in the reverse order from the way we took them out. Reinsert our plug and reinstall our tail light. Now we'll take our plastic wing nuts, reinstall them on the back side of our tail light to hold it in place. And then we're going to repeat that process on the other side of the vehicle. You can see we've routed our four pole over to our hitch to the center of the vehicle. You want to stay away from it, anything that's hot or possibly moving. You can see this bracket right here, it's holding our bumper fascia on. I went over the top of that, zip tied it right here to my hitch. It's gonna keep it up and out of the way. I'm gonna take some more silicone and on the bottom side of the grommet where my four pole wiring goes through, go ahead and add some there also. Now we can test it out, make sure everything's working properly. Next we'll test out our lighting using part number I26. Left blinker, right blinker, Brake lights, running lights, and that'll do it for a look at an installation on a Kurt powered tail light converter with four pole flat trailer connector, part number C59236 on our 2013 Ford C-Max.